What a lovely initiative, Kasha. So nice. It's nice when people can get together and people really have come together uh, to try and make life better for those that mm -hmm. were impacted by the floods. And again, yeah. you can go onto our website at BC Together um, and they have a whole list of places that you can donate to as well if you would like to. All right, Excellent. this is a beautiful picture you're sending yes. us. Where is this? Many rainbows. We've got a rainbow over Penelica. This was taken from Salt Spring by John on Salt Spring. And here a rainbow over Hull, uh, Salt Spring from oh. North Pender Island, taken by Robert. Another rainbow there. And finally, off in the distance, can you see it? This was just earlier this morning, taken by Bryn at English Bay. So we did see a bit of an improvement. We still do have a slight chance of showers over the south coast, namely through Metro Vancouver and the Fraser Valley. We've been talking about the winds. They were strongest through the overnight, and that's what you know, got a few people off, uh, threw people off the power grid, namely in Van on Vancouver Island as well as the Abbotsford area. So now we've seen those winds shift. It's now a southwesterly flow. They've eased a little bit through the Strait of Georgia, but still 30 to possibly 50 kilometer per hour wind gusts coming in from the southwest. Southwesterlies of 50 to 70 K. That's for areas adjacent to Greater Victoria as well as the Southern Gulf Islands in the Juan de Fuca. 15 to 25 millimeters of rain still to come or by the day's end in the Fraser Valley. Here's how the day shapes up and tomorrow morning a heads up we could get some wet snow especially over higher elevations but even parts of the lower mainland could see that wet snow because snow levels are falling and temperatures are definitely falling so we'll be waking up to temperatures around minus one closer to the freezing mark as well so this is tomorrow at 9 a.m. We do have precipitation in the forecast so that coupled with these cold temperatures that's your recipe for snow, right? Speaking of snow, a lot of it through the southern interior. We spoke about this through at the top of the show, but in case you missed it, snow squall watch in effect for the north and the south Thompson regions as well as the North Columbia. And what that means is you could get unpredictable brief bouts of heavy snow all of a sudden. And that's generated by the cold front that's passing through the province. And it's also producing copious amounts of snow for Highway 3, Paulson Summit to Kootenai Pass, as well as the Elk Valley. Everywhere else, we're looking at a general 5 to 10 centimeters of snow. But the Okanagan, it's just a chance of rain. So mostly cloudy skies and a chance of rain over there. It's also very windy. So that was your today. We have a chance of thunderstorms even. We got everything for you. Chance of thunderstorms for Tofino as well as Haida Gwaii. In the BC Peace Farm, more calm over here. Your winds are gusting from the southwest to 40K, minus 5 today. Tomorrow gets colder, though. Thanks to the cold front, look at the difference between Whitehorse today and tomorrow. So it's going to be a good 10 degrees below seasonal tomorrow. Minus 13 today with just a chance of flurries. Flurries or rain, locally it's 2 to 4 centimeters of snow for areas closer to the north coast. But inland sections, we're looking at a lot of snow now. It looks like Terrace could be picking up anywhere between 10 and 15 centimeters of snow. 3 degrees for Prince Rupert today. Minus 2 for parts of the Caribou and the central interior where you still do have a chance of flurries. Otherwise, it's a sun-clad mix and a south westerly flow of 20 to 40 K four degrees in parts of the Kootenai your rain snow mix has changed over to rain but in the Columbia it still is that messy mix and it could be anywhere between two and four centimeters of snow now four in the Thompson Okanagan with a chance of rain and those, those gusty conditions Whistler it's snow or at least a rain snow mix it's five centimeters today five centimeters on your Sunday as well and tomorrow it'll likely be more classic snow won't be mixing in with the rain as much seven degrees today on uh, for the capital we've got still a chance of rain on the gusty side and there's your long range for Metro Vancouver with rain in the forecast every day not an all-day rain but it's just a chance of rain a happy birthday today goes to Amy Abney of Langley who turns 100 and Myrtle McGilvery of Lan Cam Loops turns 100 as well today. A happy birthday to you both ladies.